Hey guys, if it's like sachet, please like and subscribe. Back on here, I want to do a quick energy reading for this Megan and um, Tori Lane's trial felony assault case. I think it, they're trying to get them wet. Let's see. I want to see what will be, what are some things about this case? Like, what will be the verdict for this case? What are some additional things Spirit can you tell me about this trial? Verdict, anything pertaining to it. What is the current energy? I'm not sure when I'm gonna do the verdict because I believe they're gonna go on holiday. They should be, I know most courts are. So I'm like, oh, we don't have to wait until next year to find out what the verdict is. Like, what can we expect more from this child? Mm. Oh. Aquarius and Capricorn energy there. Mm. That could mean we may have to wait to hear something because this is Sagittarius season. I hope they don't go on Christmas break. Um, and then, because that would make sense, something could happen. Um, like more details in Aquarius and Capricorn in this season, which is after this season. Capricorn season is Aquarius season. So, well, maybe we'll still be talking about it to them. Not too sure. What is the verdict going to be? Ooh. That's a lot of cards. Okay. Nine of Swords was the first card, by the way. Pointing this way, obviously something about the past. Four of Cups. Okay, I get it. Um, so yeah, they're gonna meditate over this incident that happened in the past. Review all the details. Reevaluate it. I still feel like it's gonna be something to do with the verdict that. I still feel like it's not going to be what anyone wanted. Or I do feel like Tory Lanez is not going to do any prison time. I know they're trying to get him for, that's for a felony assault case. Um, I'm just feeling like it's, it may, may be a mistrial. I don't, you know, see, there go, I didn't even pay attention to this card. <laughs> I didn't, I'm over here talking, but look. This is what the card came out in the Megan's thing. It came out three times, signifying freedom. I really don't think Tori's going to do any um, prison time. And it came out again. Um, if you watched that reading, you notice I kept saying, why does keep coming out three times? It's three times, third time's a charm. But I still feel like Tori's going to do something else after this or it's gonna get him in more trouble but it's the energy of freedom I, I don't feel like they're gonna be able to really prove that Tori is the one that shot her six of pentacles Tori's energy I don't know why. Well, um, I just thought that if Megan doesn't win this case, maybe she should try to sue him civilly. I mean, if you really adamant that it was him, I don't know why I just thought about that. So I don't know if some people are around her or that's the option she's thinking about to civilly sue him. Or I don't know if it's going to be. I don't know why I just heard civil suit. Like someone civilly suing someone since the, I, I heard civil suit. I'm not sure if someone's debating on whether to do that or someone's telling someone to proceed with that. But I heard civil suit. Freedom. If anything, someone may have to pay for court fees. It's 
whatever the verdict is going to be, it's going to be some conditions and screens attached to it. Like I said originally, I know they took him off um, ankle monitor. It could be something like putting him back on the ankle monitor from my house arrest. Um, I don't see him, for whatever reason, not gaining sentence, like to actual prison time. But um, I do see something to do with restrictions. The sentence will have some sort of restrictions on it. Maybe paying court fees. I will make Megan. I will. Why well, would I say make Megan pay my court fees? What I want to say is, I will make Tori pay for my court fees. But maybe I came out how I was supposed to come out. I don't she really could prove this case. I'm gonna take the cards how they came out. Ooh, there go a tower. If I'm not mistaken, this came out in one of the spreads. The tower. I don't know why I feel like, yeah, I think the tower came out for Tori. Um, I could be wrong, but as far as this case goes, there's going to be a tower moment, which are obviously the tower moment I feel like is the verdict. But after the tower, you have the sun. This definitely came out for Tori Lane's reading. So I saw that the energy was he'll be happy. I mean, obviously, wouldn't you be happy if you're free? But tower moment, the verdict, and there goes the sun card again. So that could be definitely his energy. That's why I don't feel like whatever the, the, the verdict is, it's not going to be that bad to him. Okay. So you have the world card. And the Seven of Wands, Leo Energy. Um, hmm. Everyone's tired. <laughs> this is like overwhelming. It could be destroying someone's confidence as well. It's like one person's going to have a towel moment. While someone's going to be celebrating, obviously. But whatever the verdict is, I feel like all parties will be okay with it. But someone's definitely confidence is going to be destroyed by this case. It's already been destroyed. Sagittarius energy, eight of wands. Queen of Pentacles, Sagittarius, and Capricorn energy. I don't know why I feel like something's gonna, and something additionally is gonna happen between now and Aquarius and Capricorn energy, because they got Capricorn again, which we're Capricorn season right around the corner though, so it's not a big deal. Mm, I ain't gonna lie, this feels like there will be some quick decisions related to someone's relationship. And Queen of Pentacles, I just feel like that could be Megan. But um, there's two women involved in this case. So this gives me that this case is going to cause major issues in someone's relationship. Like, the relationship literally is going to become smothering to somebody's partner or them, vice versa. It's going to be some big changes in someone's relationship. Maybe someone decides to take a trip in, in hopes that that will help the relationship. I ain't saying no names of who that could be. Um, Queen of Swords, Virgo, and Libra energy. Yes, yeah, someone's going to become just whatever. Like their response to the verdict is to just become a real B-I-T-C-H. Like, become cold hearted because they're not, it's like they're going to be okay with the judgment, but with the verdict. But at the same time, this feminine energy is just going to really be bitter. Sagittarius energy here with the Nine of Wands. 
someone, this feminine energy is going to get really B-I-T-C-H up in here and um, just really start being even more tougher, have tougher skin because I feel like the walls are kind of crushing in, caving in for this feminine energy. Like they know that this is the test phase. They're trying to be persistent and strong, but it's getting to them. That's interesting. You got this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like Megan got the most money in this case. So I, I I feel like she may have some major issues in her relationship and going on a trip may fix it. Or you need to go on a trip to work on that. And there's Kelsey. I feel like Kelsey is Queen of Swords. She gives me major B-I-T-C-H. I'm going to do a separate reading on her anyway. But I feel like this is her energy. So this is definitely this could be Tori up here. Because the two women energy came out. That's interesting that the woman's energy is so strong. We we have the Knight of Swords. Knights aren't always the great, so that could be his energy as well. So it could be saying that he obviously the case is reevaluating every evaluating everything that's came out about what happened in the past and what he did see freedom though um maybe have to pay some court fees um it's going to be uh, some strings attached to that verdict tire moment for him still but overall it's happiness right afterwards energy of the whole case is people tired they're <laughs> ready for it to be over it it is also showing me that once it is over everyone's tired these are the after effects of it so let's move on to these next two cards taurus energy five of pentacles and then the fool yeah improvement this could be all energy involved. There's going to be some improvement. Maybe someone will have to pay some money out, but it will be a recovery from that. I see charity energy that came out the other day, I believe, in Tory Lanez. Um, so I don't know if he's going to um, maybe open up a charity or something or give or all three of them. It's the energy of charity, someone giving somebody something. New beginnings as well. So... I wonder is that like, whose energy is that particularly, or is that in general energy? New beginnings, new opportunities for recovery from whoever the money spent. That could be fall three because they had to spend money, you know, for lawyers and stuff. Improvement, something about charity here. Um, and then you got the lovers in reverse. Yeah, somebody gonna um, this is gonna cause a breakup. I don't like that. You you had progression than the lovers. Gemini energy here. I hate to say I don't um because um the Kelsey just got married and Meg's obviously in a relationship, but it gives me someone's gonna break up. Like it's gonna be a detachment in someone's relationship. I don't know if Tori's in a relationship, but there's definitely gonna be a breakup here. Maybe this Queen of Pentacles here. I see a breakup in a relationship because of, damn, this child. Someone's going to realize that their values just aren't aligned. Someone just may choose to do a lot of self-loving after this. I feel like that might be Megan. She may just choose to be single because she's realizing I haven't been loving myself properly. The relationship just it's a um they're just realizing it doesn't work. Someone may just be indecisive about the relationship or all of a sudden has a fair commitment to one one or each other. I don't Tori could be an even in the relationship. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Tori. But this is pretty self explanatory. Let me see if I miss anything here. I'm also looking like maybe Tori, you know, 
has had time to think about the situation. He's just like, for my freedom, I just give like. Oh. This could also mean that someone. I know the um security guard didn't show up. This also could mean that someone did. Mm-mm. Someone's willing to pay for their freedom. Or essentially someone is, huh, someone paid for their freedom or someone's willing to pay for their freedom. Something about paying for freedom. I don't know He's if someone's going to be forced to pay something to the courts or they're doing something behind the scenes to make sure the, they have their freedom. I didn't look at it like that, but that could mean that as well. And then you have a towel moment, but overall, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So someone's going to be really happy or all will just be happy that it's finally over, that it's completed. But this is going to mess up some personal relationships. Now I want to do a Megan and Party reading. Because the shit. Kelsey just got married too. And to an exec of 1501 label. How convenient. The women here. Just kind of messed up some things. But there's happiness here. Happiness, progression, but then there's ultimately a breakup. We may hear something about the breakup from here to Aquarius and Capricorn season. That could be why that was so prevalent. Definitely the women are... I kind of feel like nothing's going to happen to her because it seems like the women are really going to have to some issues to deal with personally in their relationships. Maybe not even like a, a boyfriend and girlfriend type relationship. Maybe a breakup between people you thought was your friends. It could you know, be something like that. Want to look at it from... But definitely some imbalance between the women and the relationships or one in particular. I'm going to sign out. Bye.